Noxt 4 is finally here, and in today's video we will see what's new, what's changed, and decide whether you should start using Noxt 4. Spoiler alert, you should, because it's really good. We have a new project structure, smart data fetching, better TypeScript experience, and faster CLI. We're going to cover all of that in this video. So let's now waste time, let's start with the new CLI. The new CLI has now a much leaner onboarding flow. Instead of overwhelming you with questions, the CLI now lets you decide if you want to install Noxt modules or not. Personally, I like their modules, so I use them all the time. So we're going to start a new project with all of these modules. Now here's the new Noxt 4. And if you notice, the structure is noticeably different. This is the biggest change in Noxt 4. Because if you're using Noxt 3, your application just sits around in the root directory. Well, it's not really a big deal in some situations. This could still get confusing or messy, especially when your app starts to grow. But with Noxt 4, your application code now lives inside the app directory. So this is where you'll find your app.view file, your assets, your components, your composables, etc. This is what Next.js has been doing too, and since Nox have joined Vercel, it makes sense why Nox is getting the same treatment or same structure. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know. Now, this change doesn't just make things look tidy or clean. It's also performance driven. During your development, Noxt only needs to watch the folders inside of the app directory instead of the whole root directory. That means faster HMR and less CPU usage. Also, this structure is still optional. If you're migrating from Noxt 3 and you don't want to move things around just yet, you don't have to. Noxt 4 still supports the old layout or folder structure. Other than that, the server and the shared folder stays in the root directory. Server is where you'll put your APIs and shared is where you'll put your types and utilities. The next feature is the smarter data fetching. This was already rolled out back in Noxt version 3, so if you're using version 3, you're most likely using this already. The update in this feature is more about optimizations and organizations making it consistent and performant. One of the changes is that all calls to use fetch or use async data with the same key will now share the same data reference or data refs. This means that it is important that all calls with an explicit key must not have conflicting deep or default options. For example, this code right here will trigger a warning. In this case, even though both fetch the same data, the dip option is different, and that creates a conflict. Nox doesn't know which version to trust, so it'll warn you about it. Moving on to TypeScript, Nox now only requires a single TS config file for all of your app code, server code, and shared code. You will see here in my Nox 3 project that I have a dedicated TS config file for the server code and also in the root directory of my project. This is no longer the same with Nox 4. If you take a look at this TS config file, you will see that it's using references and you'll have the following paths for the app server, shared, and node. This should mean better auto-completion and fewer confusing errors when working in different contexts. Now, let's go through the process of migrating your Noxt 3 to Noxt 4. First off, you'll have to, of course, install or update your app using the following command, npx noxt upgrade and the flag ddupe. Once your app is upgraded, there's only one thing that you need to do, or two, if you want to use the new file structure. I have this project that is using Noxt 3, and notice that the app structure is still the old structure. I have updated the Noxt version to 4, so I'm getting all of these errors related to imports, and that is normal. So to fix all of them, we just need to update the tsconfig file to the following. We need to make these references and you'll find these files inside of the Noxt folder. If you can't find these types in the Noxt folder, you just need to run the script post install and that should generate those types. And those errors should disappear. Now, if you want to move your app code to the new file structure of Noxt 4, all you have to do is create that folder the app folder and move all of the files and directories listed in the documentation. I'm talking about the app.view file, the assets folder, composables folder, components folder, etc. You can just refer to the documentation to know all of the files and folders that you need to put inside of the app folder. So that is Noxt 4. I really enjoyed how easy it was to upgrade my Noxt 3 app and how much code I was able to clean up after upgrading. Though one thing I guess is there's still an incompatibility issue. For example, the module Noxt Apollo was disabled due to this reason. So what do you guys think? Were you looking forward to this update or are you using it now? Let us know in the comments 
comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Better Stack for more Noxt related content. Thank you for watching. My name is Bernard, and I will see you in the next one.